Hey guys, welcome to Attack of the Mac. Uh, today we're going to look at a program called Rapid Weaver. Uh, it's a pretty basic uh, web design application um, that allows you to use HTML, CSS, JavaScript, anything you think of to uh, to edit your web pages in. It's got very easy publishing, uh, easy setup through mobile me. It's great, a little bit more advanced than iWeb, but maybe not a Dreamweaver. Um, it's priced around $80. Uh, from real software and it's uh, it's quite a great product so uh, let's take a look uh, when you first start off this is what it looks like um, it doesn't give you an opening window uh, to look at to see like different formats or styles kind of like iWeb does which is sort of annoying but usually it's not anything big that it's not a huge concern um, so you just go in here and do file new project uh, and you get this window um, and you have you know add edit preview themes snippets all that kind of stuff uh, first I have to try start with the setup um, you can title this anything so let's just do uh, let's do test blog our slogan we could do like that footer um, change that to attack of the Mac leave off the contact me uh, web address I don't have to deal with that now because I'm not publishing this um, advanced is where like all your file links are and stuff Google Analytics uh, shows you what how many page views and who's viewing your pages and whatnot uh, that's a separate thing that you can sign up through Google with and templates is more advanced uh, things for web designers so for now I'll just leave that blank uh, you hit OK and then you can go over to add uh, these are all your pages. Um, the things that you see like blocks, quicks, stacks, and the WP blog, those are all external add-ons that I downloaded. Um, you can find them on the real software website. You can find it through third-party people who are using Google. But the blog and everything else comes with it. Um, so let's start with the style text. This is uh, This is the basic page that most people will use. So you can click up here and you can title it. We'll just do it welcome. And then if you hit preview, that's what it looks like for now. Uh, it gives you your title, your slogan, and your little welcome thing. However, we want maybe we want a different theme. These are all the different themes it comes with. I downloaded maybe about seven of these externally from different third party publishers. And there's tons of people that have real nice looking templates. Um, but these are just some of the basic ones that were included. So let's use um, Extreme Sports because it's pretty cool. Just hit that again. Uh, this is what it looks like so far. Um, the, now, again, these are just basic things that are pre built. You can customize it, you can actually build your own and import it. So if you want to put stuff in this box right here, you can go to edit and you can start typing in whatever you want, you know. Like that, and if you preview, it shows up there and whatever. Uh, it's got the basic features, you know. You can, uh, you know, change the font, make it bold, downsize, whatever, and it'll change it. Um, <clears throat> and then uh, you can, you can do different uh, HTML things that you might, might want to put in here, uh, images and whatever. I won't really get into that because that's a whole separate issue. But you can do that within the page. I'll show you. A little bit later, what my the Attack of the Mac website looks like. I don't have a whole lot of HTML, but I do have some, and you can see what it'll look like there. Um, you can get a page info um, bar, which gives you a lot of things like the browser tile, which is what the page shows up as when you uh, are actually looking at through a browser, and you got slogans and titles and all this stuff. Uh, the sidebar, you can do uh, you know stuff like this and put information here uh, and this accepts HTML and CSS also and then the headers you got, you got JavaScript and CSS headers and uh, the, st the styles if you look at the uh, preview menu see there's the sidebar right here if you look at the style menu um, you can change 
whether you want it to be a snowboarding or skateboard, that's pretty basic. Uh, but you can choose whether you want to show or hide that sidebar there. And then you can save these as different master templates and whatnot. And for now, there's nothing in this page thing. Uh, so that's a normal style text page. Uh, the next one would be most useful is a blog. And the blog looks like this. Let me get this out of the way. Uh, nothing in here right now. If you click add, it gives you a title. So you can be like, you know, whatever. And then uh, you can set your date to whatnot. Put tags and links. And you can even add a podcast if you enable the RSS uh, field. So we'll do that. And then in here, you can do a summary. So we can do like all about blogging. And in the body, you can just, we'll do the standard, whatever. Um, and so that'd be like that. And when you preview it, it looks like that. And But, okay, this is the one thing that's kind of irking. Um, you can see the summary, but until you view it online, you can't click through it and read more, which is kind of stupid, but whatever. Uh, and then this is like your categories of what you review the most. And... Um, say I put this under a personal a little like one would pop up next to that when you add the entry because you will tag it as whatever you want uh, so the blog is super useful and easy to use um, and it's good uh, if you're always around your computer and you can do like off-site pages which is kinda neat so you could you can go here and if you go to uh, info you can be like oh I wanna have Google on my page for some reason like that and so this, <laughs> this is what your page will look like when you preview it so you'll be like oh sweet you know and you just click on you you clicked on the welcome which I have untitled page which is really we go down here we name it we'll call it no we don't want to click in there well, we can just call this Google and so we go here It'll say Google, and if you click through, it goes to there, and it's pretty sweet. Um, so those are those are some of the more useful pages. Obviously, the movie albums and photo albums, those are all basic enough to use that most people can figure out. The HTML code, you can use these. And this is where it separates itself from iWeb. iWeb, you can do a little bit of it, but not a lot. Whereas in here, you can do a lot of HTML editing. Um, and a lot of customization for cheaper than Dreamweaver but it's got nice you know kinda almost drag and drop functionality of you know an iWeb sort of program so that's what makes it nice and then when you publish whatever save it um, sure alright so when you publish you can go through mobile me which is nice but I don't have enough storage or you can do your FTP and I found like some sweet ways that you can publish with uh, free hosts and free domain names that uh, so you don't have to spend anything so that's kinda cool and you get all these options to do secure sockets and all that um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up my, um, my the attack of the Mac so you guys can see what that looks like Um, so this is kind of the basic thing you can you is a style text page and you see this is my intro and then I have a stupid little HTML thing right here for a border like a line and pictures are cool cuz you can do uh, media inspector and do all that but you just drag and drop those in uh, and then down here this is a uh, for counters of how many people I have um, here's my current blog that I have uh, again with that and you can just see what that looks like this is the upcoming blog this uh, redirects to WordPress um, so I can edit and do my blog from like an iPad or an iPhone or whatever and then just a simple easy contact page um, and so if you guys haven't looked at that website which I uh, hopefully you guys will soon I will show you real quick here what it what the website looks like Oh, by the way, major props to this website right here, Gizmodo. I uh, sometimes I'll take some good ideas that they have from their uh, their postings, and I will put it on my website because they 
they really have good authors and lots of information but I uh, I will try not to copy them I want to make my my own but the information can be pulled from their site so let's just get this up here internet's kind of slow Oh, there we go. Uh, stupid got <laughs> caught like in the lag there. Um, so this is what it looks like. Uh, the stupid counters are kind of being weird, but um, this is basically what my website looks like. I'm not, you know, a genius at HTML. I'm <laughs> sort of still kind of lo like learning that, but um, this is what it looks like. I was able to create a find a cool clock that I could put up here, and I, I got links to the YouTube and Twitter and all that, and uh, major props to these dudes. So here's the current blog as of right now. I got my Twitter feed up and running, which I'll hopefully start <laughs> updating more. Um, right now, I recently did Evernote. That was kind of cool. The upcoming blog. This is gonna suck. Um, I haven't been able to start it right away yet. Um, I'm still trying to transition, and uh, between school and all, it's pretty busy. Um, but I'm working on that. But uh, then there's a contact me. So if you guys just shoot me questions, contact me on that. Um, but yeah, that's Rapid Weaver. It's it's a really great program. It's like eighty bucks. I think I got mine on eBay for like fifty. And they, this is actually Rapid Weaver four, and they have um Rapid Weaver five out now. So if you uh, if you guys are interested in getting into web design but don't want to feel, don't feel like using your standard iWeb but can't dish out money for uh, Dreamweaver, Rapid Weaver is definitely the way to go. It's a great program um to get you started in HTML. But there's still a lot of stuff you can do with it. So uh, it's highly recommended. It's, it's really a great program. Um, so I would recommend it to anyone, really. Uh, it's great. So um, if you guys really like this video, feel free to subscribe. Uh, we, <laughs> I really like that around here. That'd be great. Um, if you subscribe to me, I'll try to you know check out your channel, see what you got going, and uh, subscribe to you back. Um, so, uh, you know, hopefully I'll have, I know it's kind of a startup, but hopefully I'll have more and more of these coming and uh, you guys can even request what kind of stuff you want to see. And hopefully in the future we'll get reviews and stuff going on. So, um, yeah, thanks for looking. I hope you guys really enjoy this video.